Hi, I'm Lee from Wonderwood, and I'm here to show you how to unbox and install your brand new Wonder Water unit. Now before I start, on the top of every box is a clear instruction guide on how to unbox and operate your Wonder Water unit. To begin with, we simply have to cut off both straps on the box. Then, we simply remove both straps. The next step is we carefully lift the box right to the top to take it off the machine. And now, we have unboxed our machine. Our next step is we're going to remove the machine, the unit, from the base of the box. Um, now, these units are very light, so it's quite comfortable for one person to do this. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna swing this to the side and show you where to grip the machine. So one hand will be positioned on the handle of the unit quite easily. My second hand will be situated right here. Now, before I lift, I need to make sure that I clamp the base of the box with my feet. So I'm gonna get my two feet and slide them in so it's limp, then I can lift. And put that to the side. Our next step is we're going to remove the cord, simply remove the packaging and put that around so the cord is free. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the drip tray. So just remove the tape like so. And then the tray simply just slots into the slot here, making sure that you wait for the click. And that's secure inside. Now that we have set up the unit on the outside, what we're going to do is we're going to open the, the door and we're going to set up on the inside. So the first step for this, we just have to remove the tape here and then we're going to open the door. Okay, once the door's open, we're gonna remove the bottle right here, first and foremost, and we're gonna pull the nozzle out. Now this nozzle, when you pull it out, remove the packaging. Now every time you pull this out, this is always gonna be situated right there on the top of the door. So I'll move the bottle to the side. This here is also the hose that we're gonna use, which I'll talk more about that very soon. Remove the packaging from the bottle. And then, we pull the hose out. Now this hose is the hose that we use to fill this bottle. Now when you're lifting the bottle, um, it has two little inserts on either side, which are perfect for placing your fingers and allowing you to lift the bottle easily and carefully, especially when it's full of water. When filling the bottle, the best place to put the bottle is actually on the floor and close or underneath the tap. So in this instance, I'm going to put the bottle right here. The next step I'll do is I need to fit the nozzle onto the tap so I can fill this bottle. Now, just so that you know, the nozzle is universal size. It's a universal size that will fit pretty much 95% of all taps. So, I'm gonna get it on here. There we go. Stick the hose in here. Now that we've finished filling up the bottle, the last step of this is we're gonna remove the hose, which is simply just pulling it down. And then we're gonna, and that will empty the rest of the water that's in the hose, as you can see. And then the hose is now empty. So we can stick the hose on there for now. We're going to put the full bottle into the one water machine. First and foremost, we place it close to the machine with the open door. 
Then we're gonna get this nozzle here, and we're gonna put it inside and fit it, push it down nice and firm. Once that's in, we're going to lift the bottle and put it inside the unit so that we can close the door. Before we close the door, we're gonna get our hose that we used to fill it up, and we're gonna slot this in the side so that it doesn't get lost. Once that's done, you simply close the door and that's ready to plug in. Um, this indicates that the power is on. And when you see this light flashing, what that is, is that's the pump pumping the water out of the bottle and into the machine. The machine has stopped blinking now, which means that it's full and ready to use. I'm gonna show you the back of the machine, swing it around and explain what the buttons are. Now, all these buttons are currently off. The red one, when I switch this on, what that does is that will make sure that when you have hot water, it is boiled at a temperature that you can have your coffee, tea, and Milo instantly and straight away. If I turn on the green button, that will then start to cool the water. That will ensure that all the cold water is cold and refreshing. And the last button over here is a night light that simply provides light above the drip tray so that you can use it at night. So now that the unit has been turned on, it's been going for about five, 10 minutes, um, you'll see these two lights here come up. This denotes hot water, this denotes cold water. When you see that the light is green, what that means is that the machine is getting the water to the ideal temperature for its use. So for instance, for hot water, when that turns off, it'll be at the optimum heat for you to make all your tea, coffee, and milos. Um, for the cold, once that turns off, it will be at the op optimum temperature to drink nice, refreshing cold water. So along the top here are all the buttons to control the water coming out of the machine. This here is the, the, uh, the hot water button. This here is the ambient um, or room temperature button. And this here is the cold button. Now, very, very important. The hot nozzle has a child safety mechanism. So if I go and push down on it, it will not work. The only way this will work is if I push the red across, take the safety off, and then push down. And as you can see, it's filling up with hot water. Now, I'm gonna do the ambient water. Under the middle nozzle. Pushing down. Lastly, I'm gonna put in the cold water. Now, very, very important. What we recommend is before you start drinking this water, the hot water, ambient and cold water, you run that cycle five cups under each nozzle. That will clean all the pipes in the system and that will make it nice and ready for you to use and to drink. Now, anytime that you see this light light up, which is red, anytime you see it light up red, that's an indicator that means that you need to refill the bottle. Nice, cold, refreshing water.